Hello. Today I'm in Moonwood Mill again. This is one of my favorite lots to build a like isolated pond house. Um, I had seen a picture on Instagram of like a little house hidden by a bunch of bushes and stuff on some sort of water and I was obsessed with it and I was feeling really sad and when I feel sad I usually will build like really like isolated um cottages kind of like where I would like to be in that moment and so that was this one I did it pretty quickly too um this only took me like I want to say it was about an hour maybe even 40 minutes because it's so small and because most of the lot is just a pond um it didn't take me that long which also means that I'm going to be posting two builds this week um because I have another one that also ended up being only like nine minutes long and so I figured it would be a good time to kind of like double post this week because I have some other um builds that I'm going to be working on for like shell challenges in the upcoming weeks so I figured I'd get them out now <laughs> um they're both starter homes too so this one's accidentally a starter home I didn't even realize until after so it's a starter home for one to two sims it's only a one bedroom one bathroom I also have the reference picture that I do want to pull up just so that you could kind of see what inspired this build i kind of like went off a little bit and i made a tower just because i didn't want to just make a box because <laughs> it's already a very simple build to begin with and i felt like i was cheating by only having a square <laughs> but yeah let me pull it up yeah here's the picture i don't know if it's gonna block anything it shouldn't but um i already pretty much built the entire house anyway before i brought up the picture again this video is very quick very short <laughs> so I do do the interior um I haven't been doing that too much lately I've been posting some shells that are unfurnished but this one does have um an interior because it's so small and I felt like it would be nice to kind of make up an interior for this but yeah I feel like I really liked the bushes that are like kind of covering it I liked the like cracked wood and the mossy roof which we have similar stuff to in The Sims, so it felt right to kind of build this. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I know it's really simple, um, not much to look at, but um, yeah, I really like it. And I spent more of my energy with the landscaping and just picking out little um, bushes and trees that I think would go well together. I didn't want to add way too much to the build itself where normally I put a lot of ivy this time I didn't put too much I do use like bushes to make fake ivy just like I really like fluffy looking ivy which you can only really achieve if you're using these sorts of bushes because we don't really have anything like it and yeah so I like how it came out I made the back of the house the entrance because that door kind of doesn't go anywhere um I guess, I don't know what this would be in real life. <laughs> I was like, is this like a boathouse? I guess maybe like, maybe this was on a canal or something and you kind of like, I don't actually know. I'm trying to make things up. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm even talking about. <laughs> but anyway, I'll just talk about the build. I do know about that. I made a little tiny dock off to the side. I didn't put much on it. I used debug fence pieces to make it look broken because those are kind of my favorite pieces in the game it just feels very natural especially for this lot I also don't use too many flowers but I am currently obsessed with these ones that kind of the opacity looks a little like um low or is that high low opacity or high opacity I don't actually know which one <laughs> I'm talking about but yeah it definitely looks a little see-through I don't know if that's just because of my reshade or if that's what it looks like in the game but i've been obsessed with those flowers i'm using them on another build that will be out next monday so this one will be out monday i'll have a another one that's a starter home um that's also in moonwood mill this is one of my favorite worlds so i build in it a lot but that one's either going to be out thursday or friday i think i'm leaning towards thursday for that one um and then I have a 
beach house that I've built in Tartosa, which is one of my first times building there. <laughs> so I'm excited to kind of like release that video, which is also partially why I'm doing two this week, just because I finished that one. And so I kind of want them to be released because I'm excited to share them. I don't like holding on to builds for too long. Once I hold on to a build for too long, I start not liking it and then I kind of abandon it. <laughs> like I currently have two builds that are recorded that I could edit, but I'm just not feeling it. And one of them is a base game fairy house, but I feel like it kind of just looks messy. I have no memory of building it, by the way. I don't know when i built it <laughs> um i know it's in the last couple of weeks though because it was in my recording while i was looking for this one i thought i lost this footage and i was so upset because i was like not my little pond house <laughs> but um it was just hard to find because i did it all in one go so it was one recording and the recording thumbnail was just grass and so i didn't even think <laughs> that it was this when i found it um yeah, so this is the interior. It is on a diagonal. I kind of like, I'm getting more used to doing diagonal houses now. I think that this is the second one I've done recently. And my beach house one is also on a diagonal, which I just did yesterday. And so I'm getting a little bit better at it and like kind of accepting the limitations of some of the walls. Like you can't um, close off some walls as squares and you kind of have to do it on a diagonal just to close off the rooms and stuff but this one i didn't even really do many rooms i just had space for a bathroom which is functional i had to move some stuff around slightly but the house should all be functional i really only play tested the bathroom which was what i was worried about also the bed works because um i made sure a sim could walk against the like exterior wall so that all works. I don't know if the upstairs works, but there's not really much in the upstairs anyway. It is just a desk with a computer. Um, because I figured that if it's a like, I don't know, if you want to download this, they could kind of like make that extra space something that fits for their sims. Um, I kind of do the same thing with the video that's going to come out next week where there's like an upstairs and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> so I kind of just don't do much with it. Just to kind of leave it as is. It also saves me some time. I didn't clutter this a lot. I think that's why it's also um, been taking me less time to build, but I've been enjoying it. I've been liking kind of the simple clutter um, I've been liking it in reels and stuff of just kind of showing zoom ups of like certain little tiny details with one or two items around. I think it's like really pretty. So that's what I've been <laughs> feeling a little bit more like comfortable doing. So I don't have to like burn myself out and get tired from cluttering every single piece of furniture in every single room. <laughs> and I, it's definitely decorated enough, I think. But yeah, this is the little space up here with a desk that could be turned into anything. Um, I do add a fireplace in here just to like light it for videos for the smoke. And that makes it slightly more expensive for a one person starter home, I think. So I'm either going to delete that before I upload it or I'll just upload it. I'm not really sure which one I'm going to do yet because it is a starter for two Sims because I did move two Sims and I didn't have to fix the funds or anything. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the video is going to end soon and I don't, I feel weird about abrupt endings, <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you for watching. I'll have another video out later this week and I'll be posting on Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you. Bye.